Good morning or good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria and today I'm going to be kind of discussing some things that I've learned and that I've realized as a young professional now getting into my career. I have notes with me and I have it in my little clipboard that I like to use and this is the one I used to use at work but I'm actually in a job transition which will be discussed in another video because that's just a whole exciting announcement that I want to make and that I'm also vlogging this week as well so I have a lot going on <laughs> so I was like I don't want to get too confused and over talk and miss certain points for my video like I really just wanted to be as straightforward as possible so that's my little spill so go ahead and get your coffee I have coffee with me or your tea so that we can go ahead and jump right into the video so the first thing that I want to say is that Time and money means like everything. I think that you should never stay somewhere where you're outgrowing the position, where you're not being valued, where there's not that monetary, there's no kind of compensation that really matches what your skill set is. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about my example, and I guess I'll say this and you'll hear it in the announcement video about my new job and how I'm progressing, but I feel like in my current role, when I was an HR coordinator for this company, that I was kind of outgrowing that role. I had taken on a lot of responsibilities that were not in my job description. There was a lot of assist, assist, assist in my job description, but I didn't assist with any of that. Those were all like straight up my responsibility. And I'm not going to say that that wasn't a good thing only because I got insight and I got a lot of experience on things that people in an HR coordinator position for I would say bigger companies wouldn't really do and everybody kind of understood or I would say should have known that I wanted to progress in my career but I just felt like my time my value and my money was just not being met the way that I would have wanted it to have been and I really did want to grow here but it just wasn't happening for me and I think that when we're young and we're growing in our career and we're learning about the things that we want to do, we should take opportunities that come to us, especially if that means following more money. Obviously, more work, different challenges are going to be met. There's going to be a lot of, you know, new things thrown at you, but I think that's part of growing. And I'm just not the kind of person I've never believed to stay somewhere where my money and my time is just not being valued. Like I just I just live by that in a professional setting. I'm a very different person. If anybody knows me personally, I'm very loving and outgoing and bubbly, but I am someone who does want to work and I do want a family and I want to be that housewife like where I don't work and I stay home and take care of my kids, but I also know that I have to build towards that. So with building towards that, I have to have a plan, right? So that's why I'm very like hard on myself when it comes to my time and my money and where I'm being valued at because I feel like those are things that are often missed and we try to put too much emotion into the job we're in like, oh, well, they did this for me or... Oh, but I really like my coworkers and they're just so nice. Honey, if you are not performing the way that they expect you to or there was a time for them to do any sort of layoffs, best believe that you're probably going to be on that list. Best believe you are going to be on that list. You do not have kids. You are not married. They, a lot of people in the workplace, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to talk about my experiences, a lot of people in the workplace that are older typically, especially when you're young coming in, Unless you have a really good team, they're not going to see a lot of value in you. They're not going to. They're not going to essentially take you serious. And I think with my role as an HR coordinator as well, that was another issue that I was seeing. There was not a lot of diversity, and I don't mean in just race. I just mean in age and life. You know what everybody was doing in their lives and what was going on. There, there was a lot of that missing, and I wasn't fitting in my role anymore. Previously, as you guys know, or some of you guys know, I worked as a market coordinator for a third-party OTA booking company. I will not say which company it was because I honestly, that was a great job to get out of college. I did not want to be a market coordinator. I was not a marketing major. I didn't really like the marketing courses that I took when I graduated with my agricultural and services, you know, development degree. I didn't, I, that was not anything that I wanted to do, but I'm going to talk, talk about this and I'm going to say this and I know I might get some hate. But even though that's not what I wanted to do, and I knew I wanted to be in HR or in the environmental like side of field working and things like that, I took that job because one, I needed something to put on my resume. Even though it didn't pay me, I knew, I gave myself a plan. I knew it was not going to stay there more than a year. And I, I just kind of already had those thoughts in my head. So 
I took that job as a market coordinator. COVID happened, I got laid off. It was an emotional ordeal. My VP that laid me off was like, you know what, you're great, you're just so wonderful, you're vibrant, you're bright. Had a lot of amazing things to say about me, so much that they brought me back. They brought me back to work for the company. And at the time, I definitely took it because obviously, even though I was getting unemployment, I was like, this is not gonna last forever. Like I have to work, I have to be doing something again. The, that money is gonna eventually like stop or I don't know, I don't trust the government sometimes where I'm like, we might even have to pay this back. So of course I took the opportunity. When I say I was there for a month before they let me go again, and I'm gonna be honest, it was on some straight BS, and I was so upset because I was starting graduate school. I really did need this money because I was paying for school and putting money into that. So I was let go, and do you think that they cared about that whole showdown about how great I was and how high, like, highly recommended I was by other directors in the company and how much managers loved working with me? No, they could care less and they let my ass go. That did not live a bitter bean in my body. I'm a big girl. I think that I took both times being let go. I took both of those very, very well. The first time I said, I, you know, I understand. I was very professional about it. Second time as well, they asked if I had any questions. I said no, um, but I was not signing the agreement form that they sent me that I wasn't going to use anything against the company only because that would be sent to unemployment and I wasn't going to get unemployment and I was like well you can't like the times that we're in I just I cannot not be getting any kind of money and classes literally start for me in like a week so that was just a freaking mess and <laughs> it was just something that I like I was like wow like to experience that you know like to really experience being like oh I've never been fired from a job I've always been the one to terminate my position myself I've never been fired so when I was, it was actually very shocking. I think all of my coworkers were shocked, but I also think they were shocked because my reaction to it, even though I was upset, because again, that was straight BS what had happened. It, I just, I was like, I get it though, I get it. Like I'm not friends with the BP. I don't have that kind of relationship. The girl that I had the issue with was another manager because she was not a good manager. She was not a good leader. She shouldn't even be in a leadership position. Like this woman tried to tear me apart basically but i'm smarter than that i know how to use my words i know how to type an email i know how to conduct a meeting and i was belittled in a meeting twice by her in front of another manager another director and i actually had another coordinator on the phone with me on mute to witness this because i knew that she was on some shit i just knew like i don't mean to curse but i just knew she was on some straight bs so i was only there for a month and they quickly let me go. It was really just a matter of she had got her feelings hurt and when she went and told the VP, her and the VP are friends and what happened, they had to let me go. So that's just how I see it. They're never gonna change my mind on that. You know, they can say what they wanna say. I know some of them have tried to kind of reach out and talk to me or have questions about, well, I don't know why she didn't like me. No, it's not that I never liked you. As a person, this person was great. She has a great personality. As a leader, somebody who's in a management role, she shouldn't be in one. But yeah, so that's why I have the mindset that I have um, with certain things <laughs> when I say like, hey, if something's not working for you and it's your time and your money and you're really being valued against that, remember that they, they would let you go in a heartbeat if you were not doing anything for them. Don't stay somewhere because of the emotional aspect. And I know that's really hard for, some, for us to do sometimes because we may love our coworkers and we may really respect our leaders or our management team, or we, we may feel like, oh, I've only been here for six months, 10 months, two months, and I, I don't wanna know. If there's a better opportunity for you, why wouldn't you take it? I would think that that's common sense, especially if you have the skill set for it. Now, sometimes you do have to wait. When I was a market coordinator, I was very patient, and that's why I gave myself a year to kind of give myself that experience and to put that on my resume because it's a corporate job, it's a, it has a good title to it. There are a lot of things that I learned there that I'm never gonna learn probably anywhere else that I could take with me elsewhere, even though I did wanna do HR. So for sure, again, time and money, value. Value yourself, value your skill set. Network is gonna be the next thing that I feel like I've learned and I've really gotten like way better at. Like personality and having a good professional personality can really take you a long way, especially when it comes to networking. I learned how to network. I learned how important networking was. I learned that when you network and you build good relationships, 
especially when I was a market coordinator, I was building really good relationships with the hotels that we would work with that they pretty much fall into your hand and trust you with anything and everything. And then of course you get fun perks, like they invite you like, oh, have you ever come here? You can stay here and we got you on this, this and this. Like you'll, you'll always, there's always gonna be something in it for you, right? When I was an HR coordinator, I was really, really good at connecting with the guys on the lower level. So I worked in construction and we have a carpenter, foreman, and then, or apprentice carpenter, carpenter, foreman, and then you get into the supervisory roles. But I always made it a point to connect with the carpenters and the, for, and the foreman, and then with being able to speak Spanish, I really, really, really honed in on those specific groups because they needed to feel supported. And on top of that, when you network with them, again, you never know who you're gonna meet and who you're gonna talk to, where they're gonna go, where they're going to offer, you or your services or what kind of people they bring into the company because we did have a referral program so if they're referring employees and you, you're get you're building up and i think that that's so important to do so that i can use it for my own success and just use that in future situations where you know something may pop up i i just never know like you just never ever 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 know don't ever sleep on networking if you feel like you're uncomfortable or you don't know how to talk to people I would always say just start talking about yourself like who cares talk about yourself talk about the things that you like to do because somebody's always going to pinpoint on what you say and have that connection with you at my job i it was a thing that i went to tarleton i went i graduated from tarleton state university my undergraduate and when i would tell people that they would freak out and if anybody knows about Texas and that area it is nothing but white people and it's a country town it's all cowboys like literally what you see like in Texas kind of like what people think it is that's basically the kind of town that it was but that is like a huge selling point with a lot of my coworkers, and my boyfriend actually wants to own his own custom home building um, company in the, in the far far slash near future depending on how we play our cards and one of the guys like he was just so floored that that was the school that I went to and he was like I know so many home builders realtors in the DFW area I can definitely we can go to dinner let me take both of you guys to dinner a steak night you know let's do this let's do that let me get you your connections sis networking and if you're in a relationship be a good partner network for your man my my boyfriend also networks for me but uh, in the field that we're both in, which was completely unplanned, I never thought I would work at a construction company for HR. But with that, being in that field, there's a lot that I can like help kind of push to him. Of course, he's going to do all the legwork and sell himself and sell like, you know, his mindset and his, and his energy and his smarts and what his goals are. But that initial like getting that connection started, like be a good team player. Mm. sorry mm. okay oh this is a good one okay so and jealousy and intimidation is going to be a thing and i will say that i feel like if that is based on age and personality because you can be older working in a office setting and have this amazing personality and have a wonderful life. You have a wonderful husband, you have beautiful kids, you have a beautiful home, you probably don't even have to work, but you're doing it because you want to, or whatever the case may be, that is so apparent when it comes to corporate professional like working places. And I would say the best way to handle it is to not feed into it. I have a very good way about ignoring a lot of that stuff and just continuing about myself and the way to do it is to be unapologetic about who you are when you are gaining success when you're in school when you're doing things to level up you should never apologize to anybody because they feel uncomfortable or they feel intimidated or they feel jealous of your life there is no reason to ever apologize for your success and how far you've come i don't care if you're 21 i don't care if you're 17 I don't care if you're 30, I don't care if you're 40. There is no reason to ever be apologetic for your personality and genuinely being liked 
not overdoing it if you have the general personality of where it's you're very kind and you're pleasant and you're a pleasure to work with don't apologize for that i live my professional life being very unapologetic and i do it in such a respectful way where i also am very humble i don't think that i'm better than anyone i always say in any interview that i ever have or any kind of reviews that i'm doing or when i'm giving get, giving or getting feedback that there's always something for me to learn because no day is ever the same no day is the same i think that when it comes to that people want to feed into that and that's where you get really caught up i would definitely say don't compromise your mental health if you're not happy where you're working or you feel like you're getting sluggish and there's not that happiness try to figure out first before just leaving what is causing this unhappiness is it really work or is it personal things but if you're bringing work home with you and it's bothering you and it's stressing you out you're not getting sleep you're having anxiety you're just all over the place you might want to start looking for something else because it's never okay to compromise our mentality just because we have to get a check don't wear yourself out because as young people even though older people may say, well, what do you need to be stressed about? You don't have nothing to worry about. We do. We got a lot going on. We have to figure out life. We have to figure out equity and money and finances and, and living on our own and experiencing the real world truly outside of college by ourselves. Even if you're in a relationship, you're still doing it alone. Once you're in your career, it's like a whole other thing. Like once you either you're going to realize, oh, I don't like this and I'm not doing this. Let me make another plan. Or you're going to be like, oh my gosh, like this is great. I love coming to work. I love what I do. I'm happy. Like nobody can tell me nothing. Once you're getting into that, like it feels really, really good. Like it's a really good feeling because it's like, oh, like I did it. Like I accomplished that. Only take advice from people who are doing better than me. I think that that's a good advice for me to give to you guys. That if you have friends who are doing really good, instead of being jealous of them or feeling like, you know why can't that be me why does she no i they, they my friends will tell me their stories and i'm like okay bet that's that's gonna be me give me give me six months sis give me six months to meet you where you're at and i got you that is all that i have for this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye